Hello, students, parents, teachers, whoever might be watching that might want to see the student side of Google Classroom. Now, I'm sure by now you know how to get to your Google Classroom, and maybe you have a lot of classrooms you're enrolled in. Maybe there's just that one class. But what I'm going to do is I'll show you everything a student will see. So first off, if this is my class that I'm a student in, check this button out right here, open your work. Could it be easier than that? It's going to open up straight to that work that you have to do. Now, this is going to show me all of my work right here. It automatically shows me all my work. This work has no due date, but the teacher assigned it to me. It's an assignment. This one is due the 13th. Oh, it's missing. That means today's the 14th. It was due yesterday. Ah, I missed it, right? It's in red. No due date. It's assigned for this assignment. This assignment is turned in. That means I turned it in, but my teacher hasn't graded it yet. I turned it in that basket. No teacher grade yet. And this one, yes, I got 10 out of 10. That means I turned it in, my teacher graded it, and returned it to me. Now, if I want to just look at a specific thing, let's say I just want to see all the work I have to do, not all the work I've already done. I pick assigned, and that means, ooh, I have three assignments and one's already missing. That means I'm late, right? I could look at the work that's been returned to me, and I could see one assignment has been returned. I could go just to missing work, like work that's late. So students, parents, Whoever's watching, students, you can easily show your parents, go to the assign tab and say, look, I, oh, I have three assignments left. I'll go back to work, mom, right? Or you could say, look, mom, no. Oh, I have one missing assignment, mom. Okay, I will finish that, right? Super easy to see our assignments. But let's go back again because that was just a one button push to get there, right? But you usually probably just click on your Google Classroom and to get in. Now I'm in my Google Classroom. Look right here, upcoming work. Wait a second, didn't I have three assignments that I was supposed to do? But woohoo, no work due soon. Oh, because that means there's no work that has a due date that's coming up soon. So don't get tricked by that one. It's because I had one missing assignment and two more assignments that have no due date. So don't get tricked over there, but that'll be everything that has a due date that's coming up. So it looks like nothing's due today. That's good news. But I could view all right here. And look, when I view all, it goes back to that same screen again, right? So now you know a second way to get to that same screen with your work. Let's do it again. Let's go back here. And now let's go to my classwork. Of course, I could look at my assignments one at a time and that'll work. So let's do it. See the darker color? Now, I know you might have a different color in your classroom, purple, orange, whatever, but the darker color means I have not done it yet. So look, one, two, three assignments I have not done. And that matches what we just saw, right? This grayed out color, it's lighter. That means I already did those assignments. So look, when I click on it, graded, it's already done. I'll click on it, turned in, already done. But these other ones, I haven't done yet, right? Look, ooh, missing, right? Or this one is assigned. So I could easily see those couple things. Now talk to your teachers how you want to deal with comments, because are you going to click in every assignment after you get it returned to you? So when you see a graded assignment, are you going to click on it and see, ooh, I got some comments on my teacher. Great work. Yes. But otherwise, you might not see your comment, right? So see how your teacher is going to be using comments on your assignments. Now, now that was another way to look at our assignments, right? But check it out. There's even another way. Look right here up on top of our screen. So let's click back in the classwork. Look on top of our screen. View your work. One more time, back to the same screen. So if you notice, there's tons of ways to get to this screen to view our work. Now, look at the three lines over here. Maybe you've never pushed that before if you didn't need it, but you're enrolled in a class, right? Maybe more than one class. You'll see your different classrooms down here. But look, my to-do list. I click on it. And this could be everything I have to do in all of my classes. So this might be too much to look at. Oh, no, look at all this work I have to do, right? But if you're just looking at one class at a time or you only have one class at a time, Look, once again, it's going to show me I have three assignments. Ooh, and one is missing. So that could work as like my to-do list. I do like how the other one looks better, though. So I think I'll stick with the other one. And I could look at my work that's done. I have two things that are done. 
So again, I'll go back to, oops, sorry, I'll go back to my classes again. I'll go back to my classwork. Now, when we're actually in an assignment and we actually view something, this is my one that was returned and I got my grade on, right? Now, did you know you could resubmit an assignment? Like, let's say your teacher says, do it again. I could do my assignment and turn it in again, right? That's always an option. Now, let's go back and look at another assignment. So this one, I turned in, but my teacher hasn't graded it, right? If my teacher hasn't graded it yet, I could always unsubmit my assignment, like take it back out of the basket and fix my assignment and turn it back in again. Remember that button's always there. So unsubmit means you're taking it back out of the basket. It's no longer turned in again. Now let's look one more time at an assignment. This was an assignment I had to do. And remember, when you're complete and you're done with your assignment, don't forget to hit that blue button. It might say mark is done. It might say turn in. But either way, you got to turn in that assignment. Just like you don't want to be that kid that forgot their assignment in their desk or their backpack. And they're like, oh, I forgot to turn it in. So always turn in your assignment when you're done. So that's a lot to go over, a lot to cover. But that's what's awesome about a video. You could always rewind it and watch it again. Now, if your teacher put um, due dates on your assignments, like a due date. So look, what is art? Due August 13th. If I go to my Google Calendar, that's my calendar for this classroom right here. And look, on August 13th, what is art? It shows up right there on my calendar. So if your teacher uses due dates, it's going to show up on that calendar. So ask your teacher if they do that as well. So now your stream, ask your teacher how you're gonna wanna use the stream. You wanna be responsible. They might let you post on there. They might not let you post on there. You might be able to comment to someone. You might not be able to comment to someone. So make sure you understand what's gonna go on your stream for your classroom. So it looks like we pretty much covered everything here. But let's go ahead and look at an assignment one more time here. When I go to the assignment, you could give a private comment to your teacher like we were talking about. Your teacher will get a comment, but ask your teacher if they're going to use the comments because if you guys go a little wild with your comments, your teacher might not be able to keep up with all your comments. So maybe there's a better way to ask your teacher a question, maybe on your Zoom meeting or your Google Meet meeting or by email. So figure out the best way to talk to your teacher with comments, but you could write them a comment and they could write back a comment to you, your classmates will not see this. But if you write down here, class comments, your whole class will see those comments. So maybe you have a comment to the class about Flipgrid and say, I'm excited for everyone to see my Flipgrid. But again, ask your teacher what those expectations are for comments because you wouldn't want a hundred comments on there and you're trying to scroll through and see what's going on. So I always ask your teacher what the best way to do your work is. So you saw the stream, you saw your classwork, you saw people. Oh, we didn't see people, huh? Well, that's your teacher and you're all set. So hopefully that made sense to you guys and have fun in your Google Classroom. See you later.